you know, you have good times, you have bad times, but I think I got a little what's called cabin fever. Remember in The Shining yeah. when the, when he's telling Jack Nicholson, he's like, well, a man, um, Delbert Grady, he was a caretaker. Good man, no no uh, previous records of anything violent or anything, but he brought his family up here for the winter. And uh, after a couple of months, he got what some people call cabin fever, you know, just kind of lost his mind and he chopped his daughters up with an ax and shot his wife with a shotgun and uh <laughs> anyway so it's not that i'm just saying that i remember cabin is that where you're at is it no 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 no. i'm not like that i don't get violent i just i just sometimes wake up or, or i don't really i don't sleep well i get anxious have you gotten i know you're a pretty mellow guy but do you do you get anxiety um i tell you one thing i'm gonna do i mean if, i i do and i don't i mean like i i definitely feel um at times sort of anxious and overwhelmed and stuff like that. But it, it, it's, it's not, it's not debilitating in the way that I know the actual medical definition of it is. So I would never, I would never say I have anxiety. I think it can be quite, I know it's a, I know it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a heavily used term, but w when I've seen people who genuinely suffer from anxiety and it can be really debilitating and they can't like, they don't want to get out of bed or they don't want to leave the house or whatever. And they can't, they can't, I mean, my wife gets it sometimes and she can't even speak, you know? And it's like, I would never want to reduce that by saying, oh yeah, I get anxiety. Like I get anxious about things, but I don't have anxiety, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, um, but I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I get, I get certainly get, get quite overwhelmed with, with the job at times. Usually when I'm, when I'm in the middle of a job and I'm panicking about it being shit. Okay. So um, oh, wait, so b do you equate success? with happiness like if you are great or is or like you're, you're you're insatiable obviously you want to be great we all want to be great we want the studios to think we're great and but uh after a while you know the older i get the real i realize i just got to do the best i can and by the way i'm not saying i'm i'm good with this now but like you know when is it good enough or what what is it that makes you anxious about that well, I think that there's there's a couple of things. So like my my because uh, I I was seeing a, a therapist for a little while, um, and it was simply because, um, and again, like it wasn't anything debilitating. I just thought I, I think that there's not there shouldn't be a stigma around it for a start. Uh, and I 100%. thought, well, I'm not working. It's I'm a bit down in the dumps. I'm sort of like, um. I didn't feel um, fulfilled, inspired. inspired. I didn't feel inspired to do anything. I felt like I just couldn't be bothered. And even when, and it wasn't if like I was out, like self tapes were coming in. I just couldn't be bothered. And I was like, what's wrong with, with, with this? So I spoke to someone and it was fine. Like it, it was, it was all right. And uh, we came out the other end of it and actually moving back to Florida helped a great deal. Um, but, but she said something quite interesting to me. She said that you need to find something in your life that, that, that you can do so that you can remove your job from from being the sole thing that defines you because it was like everything that i was doing every choice that i was making in life um had all been to try and make myself as successful as possible and therefore every time that i was a setback where i didn't get a role or um or something wasn't as successful as it could have been or a bad review it was like that was all consuming that suddenly that was a reflection on me as a human being, not just me as an actor, but also me as a, me as my worth as a person. Um, and I mean, she told me that I haven't fixed that. I haven't done what she told me to do, but, that's a but it was great advice. It, it, yeah. Well, fuck.